Hello. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think I would end. Oh, thanks. It's Ivanka Trump, and I felt really bad for buying. <laughs> good price I got it at Ross but <laughs> so, so I didn't think I would come up here at all just the pretty blonde lady when I walked in was like you look like you have a story and I'm like you're such a good saleswoman <laughs> I'm just gonna stare into your eyes and write down my name but um so and then my name just got called and I'm like what are the eyes so, and I'm on a first date tonight, which is so, so. <laughs> so this is great. So, <laughs> raise your hand if you've ever been in a long distance relationship. Okay. Now keep them raised if it worked out. <laughs> right, okay. So, so, so um, <clears throat> I dated this guy. I dated him because he looked like Zach Braff. And that was like, it ended up being one of the only good things about him. But um, okay, so I meet this guy, looks like Zach Braff, and I really had like big crush on Zach Braff at the time. And I'm like, you're amazing. So, you know, he like makes good money and he takes me out to fancy dinners and it's all great. So then he finds out he's getting transferred to Orange County, California. And we'd only been dating for a little while. And um, I was getting my master's degree here in Philadelphia. And, yeah, thank you. So anywho, um, he's like, OK, I'm getting transferred for my job, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not ready for you to move with me now. Um, why don't you stay here and finish your master's degree? And yeah, and you know, whatever. By the time you're done your master's degree, I'll be ready for us to live together or whatever. Anyway, that just didn't work out. It was just like a totally bad idea for me to like, we should just call it a quits. Anyway, so what happened? So, so he tells me that he is gonna move to like California, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm all upset and blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, okay, well, you know, it's going to be all right, baby. You're going to come out and uh, visit me on Valentine's Day. Okay. So I save up my pennies and I save up my dimes. And um, I end up getting the money together to go visit him on Valentine's Day. So I get to the airport. He picks me up. And it turns out that he scheduled a colonoscopy nice. for when I was visiting him because he knew what a caring and loving nurse I would be. So anyway, <laughs> I got whisked right from the airport. And you know, my lovely boyfriend picks me up and we go right to his appointment to get the colonoscopy, and I'm just so fucking pissed. And he tells me, and I'm like, oh my God, the present you gave me better be so good. <laughs> so anyway, we make a stop. I forget where, we're in like some mall. We stop at some mall. And he's like, oh yeah, I just had to like pick up something, blah, blah, blah. And I caught him buying my Valentine's present, which he had not gotten for me before I got there. My present was the colonoscopy. And um, <laughs> he I caught him buying this little porcelain like mug with a little like cat on it. And he's like, it looks just like your cat that you have at home. So stupid. And um, <laughs> anyway, it just got worse. Like we go to the colonoscopy and like he gets all drugged up. And like I'm sitting there just like fuming, and then like the nurse is giving me pictures of his colon, like okay, and she's like showing me the things. I'm like I don't want to know any of this. I'm just like give me the pictures, put them in. So I'm wheeling him out, you know, to his like BMW. 
<sighs> anyway, so he, he got a like really fancy car when he moved out to Orange County. Anyway, that doesn't matter. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story. <laughs> I didn't have anything. <laughs>